Hello you two. I'm going to take you around the house today for a little bit to view some of my Christmas decorations that I just freshly put up. Um, I actually do have my tree up and I do like a gothic Christmas every year. Um, but it's not completely finished. The theme of this year is Christmas Sucks, which is basically like a Christmas pun. And I, I don't know, I did it because I have humor, but like I mainly made it because a lot of people miss the point of Christmas. Um, you know, a lot of people make it all about money and stuff like that. And it's, for me, um, I do still celebrate the commercial side of Christmas and I do like getting presents. I like putting lights on things. Not really religious, but I believe that Christmas is uh, about being together and being with a family and not worrying how much stuff that you're going to get because the material things can be replaced at the end of the day. Human beings can't. Um, and I think that's why I wanted to go with this theme this year and also because vampires are very close to my heart and I want it to be vampire themed. Um, like I said, there is a few more things that I have to collect to put on the tree to make it, you know, fully together. But I'm having really fun with this project. Um, every year it's different. I did a black, it's a black Christmas tree from Walmart. And basically, um, last year, uh, or no, two years ago, I started this theme because of the Nightmare for Christmas from Tim Burton. Um, and I bought orange and purple lights from the dollar store and tons of Halloween stuff and the Halloween tinsel garland and I put a jack lantern on the top of the tree and did all Nightmare for Christmas. I even received a bulb from my aunt um, around Christmas time that she bought from Etsy. And then the second year I did purple and green on the tree and it was the, supposed to be uh, a holiday in the or a haunted holiday in the mansion, which was inspired by uh, Disney's The Haunted Mansion. But I didn't really have like the hitchhiking ghosts or anything cool like that, unfortunately. But this year I'm going to do vampire. I almost did Krampus, but I'm obsessed with vampires and I had a really, really good idea. Um, and it involves plastic fangs and rubber bats and you'll love it. But for now, it's still in the process and I'm waiting for the stuff that I just ordered through the mail. Uh, which is just cheap stuff like vampire fangs and, excuse me, and bats that I have to hang on the tree. And I have a few other things that I'm going to put on the tree as well. But for now, I'm going to take you around my house and outside of my house to show you around. So, going into here, let me put the light on for you. There we go. Um, this saw I actually painted when I was in high school still, my senior year. I studied interior design and I learned how to paint. So this is an actual real saw. And I painted a snowman on it and we put a ribbon on it. Um, and we put like a little bit of fake pine and a cute little bow with like uh, trees and snow and stuff like that. Uh, we hang... Uh, um, the Santa Claus by our door, like, every year. There's nothing on our door right now. And then we have stuff over here. Excuse my counter. It's, like, really cluttered right now. And we still have to hang that up. And then right next to my dog's kennel, we have, like, a little stocking that we put, like, toys in for him for Christmas. This is our first new dog, so this will be his first Christmas with us. Over here, we have the little nutcrackers. I used to collect these nutcrackers when I was a kid. They're kind of broken, but we still put them up and there's like a little stocking there. And then we go into my living room. <clears throat> Gotta step over a gate over here. Go into our living room and we have a little setup here. I just decorated like a night ago and I stayed up till like four o'clock in the morning. God knows why, but yeah. My little Santa, and we have this little setup over here. And this board right here, I also um, hand painted everything. I hand painted the faces on the snowman, and I glued bulbs and ribbon on there, and I hand painted the Merry Christmas. And we put poinsettias at the top, and we put poinsettias around here. 
And then a lot of this stuff is for my grandma. And then over here, we've had this for years for my grandma as well. And then there's some more nutcrackers next to me and my sister's baby pictures. And my prom, or yeah, I think it's prom. There's another nutcracker. And then there's just a plain stocking. And right here by my window, we have a set of poinsettias that go all the way across. And then taking you over here to my normal Christmas tree. This is my mother's or our family Christmas tree that we have out in the living room. And it's just like classic red and green and whites and snowmen and poinsettias and stuff. My grandfather actually made uh, this little gingerbread man when he was in the nursing home when he had Alzheimer's before he passed away. And that was like his last Christmas ever. And the funny thing about this right here, um, I made this for my grandmother and gave this to her for Christmas, this big plaque thing. I also made this interior design. Uh, I made this for her and that was her last Christmas. And she passed away in July, so that's kind of sad, but yeah. And then we have our two stockings and we have um, a little bag thing right here. And it says peace and joy. It's right by our light switch. We actually still have to hang this up and put bows on it and lights. Um, in here we have like a light up present that's in the doorway, but actually it's not lit up right now. Um, I'm going to take you guys outside. And right here on the door we have a nice little wreath. It's not lit up or anything. Let's see if I can... Yeah, that's as best light as I can give you. Try to step out of the way. And then we're going out to the outside. It's freezing. Right across the street, there is the creepiest freaking nativity set. Uh, you guys can't see it, but it's creepy as shit. You know what? I'm actually gonna walk over and I'm terrified. I'm gonna make this quick because it's like laid out. Yeah, just a weirdo walking in the middle of the night to go see a nativity set. But you guys are gonna see what I'm talking about. It's creepy as shit. Um, like there's like, oh, I'm terrified to walk up to this. I hate mannequins. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. Okay, but this is like right down the street from my house. There's like nobody out right now. Oh my God, this thing is creepy. Oh, Jesus. But people were setting this up today. And last year they had this nativity set, but it was really small. Oh yeah, and down the street we have, um, hold on. Down the street we have like a tree that's set up every year. God, there's cars coming. Okay. It's not coming this way. Oh, this is so creepy. Look at this shit. It looks like a cult. It's terrifying. Oh, and I'm really scared. Oh, I hate fucking mannequins. I hate them. I hate them. Oh, oh it's creepy. And I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going home now. I'm afraid those things are gonna chase me back. Fuck that. Okay. But yeah, we have like a little Christmas tree down that way, but I'm not going down that way right now because it's too far and it's really cold out and I just literally walked out of my house without a jacket on. I'm literally in a t-shirt. <sighs> things I do for you guys. But yeah, I'm sorry that I'm like not on the screen right now and I'm kind of vlogging like in front of me and it's really dark, but uh, yeah, I thought I'd vlog a little bit to show a little bit of Christmas stuff to start the Christmas season and whatnot because uh, it's not December yet, but still it will be. 
Um, but yeah, you got to see a really creepy nativity set. I watched them set that up and I thought they were like angels, like wooden angels. No, they're freaking uh, mannequins that are terrifying and look like real people and look like they're gonna fucking kill you. No, I am not fucking with that. And I am not gonna be full, feeling comfortable walking past that. But anyways, back to my house. Um, we have multicolored lights on the house. And that's my tree in the window. And then we have a little frosty, and actually we have a Christmas tree um, that's supposed to be in the window and we're gonna put more white lights and stuff on the window um, that are kind of like on my Christmas tree. But yeah, I don't know if you guys can see me that well, but that was pretty much all I have to show you like right now because I mean, not everything's done and it's still kind of early, but I just thought I'd show you that real fast. Um, I'm gonna try to make more Christmas vlogs. I can't promise that. I wanna go to Cranex. I don't know if you could film in there. I'll probably sneak filming. And I also wanna go to Mill Creek Park because they have a pretty Christmas thing every year at this park. Um, like chestnuts and like people in Victorian outfits and stuff. And there might be Christmas stuff going on at my goth club that I might be able to go to or might not. Don't know because I'm not driving yet and I don't know who would pick me up or whatever. And Taxis and Uber isn't really cheap. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Until next time, guys. See you later. Bye.